You got to call it 347. You on the line? It's Jason. Yo, 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 it's Will Sully. Shut him down radio. Hey, what's what's up, good? Baby? How you doing? Yeah, I'm chilling, hey, my nah. Jake. All good, man. How are you? Yo, I'm good, bro. Now, Will, how long you been in the rap industry? Um, couple, a couple years. I got, um, you could say my first initial start is, um, I worked on the Shine, Shine second album. Um, oh, that's what's up. Godfather Buried Alive. And that's like my, that's I guess that's my introduction into the, into the industry. Right. So when did you start, it? when did you start producing? Um, probably like in high school, maybe like around in the, in the end of the nineties, like 98 around that time. Okay. So that's considered really the golden era. Now, yeah. coming through the rank. Yeah. You can talk, man. No, 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 no. I'm just, just listening. Right. Now that was the golden era. You know what I mean? Shout out to Sean. Now, what's your weapon of uh, destruction? You know what I mean? For his, um, using beat machine. Believe it. Well, the crazy thing about that is back then. Right. I started on the ASR 10, and um, nice. then I got into the um the MPC. So now, okay. since you know the ASR 10 kind of. It, 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 they never kept up with time. Like, they went out of business. So now it's like I'm more of an MP um, and a keyboard dude. Now, you know, now it's BSD. So I still, right. I'm still with the MP. Still. Okay. That's what's up. Now, which one you like better? You like beat machines or you like computers? You know, because there's a lot of computer programs. Well, I mean, that's the good thing about, like, the MPC because MPC was able to integrate you know, the beat machine with the, um, with the computer, you know, the application. So right. I, really right now you, to me, you, I think you can't go, you can't get around a computer now because it's, you know, it's right. cleaner. Like, like you, you, you make the beat, you go right out of the, out of the um application. There's no feedback. There's no, like the, the sound is, is a little cleaner. So it's easier right. too. like before, back in those days, remember we had the track, you had to record each track from, the beat machine into the the A dat or the two inch reel or the computer and you know you you got a little bit of that hiss in there which is not bad but just for right. nowadays it's just you know time time wise it's, it's just I mean it's more convenient now with the um sure. you know the the computer joints but now you know they got them the MP just released a new beat machine where it's a standalone or you could connect it to the um the computer so you know oh, that's what we gonna see that's what I'm talking about. Now, as far as the music, I'm definitely feeling the music, you know what I mean? So Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, you already know, my G. Now, Life After X, you know what I mean? You produced that? No, my, my partner, Legion, produced that. Okay. That's what's up. It's definitely some heat. Now, I think you're hailing from um, Rockaway, Queens, you know what I mean? What part of Rockaway you come from? OV. Ocean Ocean Village. Village. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm out here in Mobsdale, man. I'm out here on uh, Rosedale, you know what I mean? Oh, no, shout to Rosedale. We, you know, we fuck with Rosedale, too. I went to Springfield, so, you know, yeah, Mobsdale me too. definitely crazy. was he heavy in the building. That's what's right. up. Yo, yo, you know what's funny? I used to go to Beach Channel, too, in the 90s, you know what I mean? It was crazy. Wow, word? Yeah, yeah, that's... Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of, it's a lot of shit going on out there. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, it feel good, man. Queens natives in the building. Now, yeah, salute, bro. The music, yeah, you already know. Now, definitely with the music, I'm definitely feeling it. So currently to this date, how many projects have you put out? Oh, uh, man. um, I, I stopped counting after... I put out... I know I put out like seven or eight mixtapes in the mixtape era. And then... Okay. Then I... um. Right. You know, like, but the, the 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 reason why I bring that up is because when I was doing mixtapes, I was doing original music. So we was calling them mixtapes, but it was really, it was really albums and EPs. Because I was, you know, making right. the beats, making real beats. I wasn't just using freestyles. So then, you know, now in the streaming era, I have uh, four, I believe, four projects up in the streaming era now. So collectively, it's over, it's over eleven to twelve projects. That I put out, and that's oh, not that's counting cool. instrumentals. That's just like right. artist-wise. 
Okay. Now, yo, shout out to my G Ju Moon. So I see he yeah. discovered you. you know what I mean, that's what bro right there. He's, yeah, Mom's Day, he's a Mom's Day, Rosedale native. Facts. Yeah, I know him personally. No talk. That's a fact. I, I I already know. I can tell. I know. Right. Now, definitely, you work with a lot of people, you know what I mean? You work with Mike Geronimo, T.L. Cross, the Heat Makers, Fred the Godson, Rest in Peace, My Son, What's Chris peace? Rivers. Yeah, real talk. Now, collectively, being a songwriter, being a producer, and being a rapper, how do you do all of it at once? You know what I mean? As far as putting it together. Really, for me, it's just a it's a daily task of trying to stay on top of um top of all of them. And the thing is, one motivates the other. Like the beats, the beats are influence or you know give me the motivation to write the rhymes and to perform well on the beat. So and then you know in on another side of it, you know, the inspiration has to be there to, to make the beats too. So, you know, like I, I stay Real. motivated by going project to project instead of just trying right. to, like I'm always, it's always a goal. So like I get the, right. I, I like to put the project together down to the artwork, down to the, you know, you know what the first single is going to be, you know, how I'm going to do that. So that's what, it, it keeps right. me in, into it. So it's really Definitely. like a collective um, thing. Yeah, I could tell, you know what I mean, with your cadence and the beats you pick, you know what I mean? I could definitely tell you put it together. Now, I looking, hear the bro. bar, you know what I mean? No doubt, man. For looking. And I hear the bar. So, pretty much, how many shows did you do? I did, um, I've done dozens of shows. I got nominated for um a UMA award in, um, I believe it was 2011. Um, oh, and at that time, yeah, go looking in that era. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't win. I got nominated for, I got nominated for artists to watch. And at that time I had did, I had to have done like in that year, probably about 25 shows, but it was back to back. Like every, every week we was doing at least two shows and we was going up the East Getting coast. That That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, they recognized it. Like I was doing the Jay Hatch run, the, um, you know, coast to coast mixtape shows. I did all right. of those, recognized it, and they they said they said you're sending your um, you know, your um EPK or whatever, and they got me the nomination. Right. So like, oh, that's what's up. um, yeah, like that was at that time I was really really traveling and trying to you know get on that show grind, and I learned at, at first I thought it was like a waste of time. I'm not gonna front because you know as an artist you want. You want to get the instant gratification. You want to you want yeah, to be opening up for Wu Tang. Yeah, like you want to be getting paid. Yeah. But you know now I appreciate it because it did a lot for for the artistry. It, it helps it, right. it helps you perform. It helps you record better when you're performing. It you know you 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 learn it more. You mingling with people, right. so oh, cool. it was definitely worth it. Now I haven't done a lot of shows recently, you know, especially now due due to the um you yeah, know the, the pandemic or whatever. Yes, right. It's kind of weird, but that doesn't stop me from, um, you know, trying to stay, stay on top of it, and you know, keep my wind up, and just get ready. That's what I'm talking about, my G. Now, what's crazy is, you know, we grew up in an era where, like, we elaborated on, you know, you had to grind for everything. Now everything is like more visual and going viral. So, do you think, like, the internet is like a plus, or it takes away, or it could be like a gift and a curse? It's the gift and the curse, like, um. Um, I was listening okay. to um, Steve Steve Stout, and the way he put it was, you know, right. you know, everybody, everybody, you know, wanted, you know, this the opportunity, but now, you know, it's over flooded. So now you really gotta find a way to stand out. And you know, to me, I still think it's a, um, it doesn't totally even out the playing field for independent artists, but at least it gives. A, I think we get a better shot now. I think. I agree. Like you know, like. Visually, like I, I couldn't break, I couldn't break, you know, the ice in the mixtape era because it was okay. like, it was to me, the way the way I see it was, it was saturated, but you really had to have a lot of a lot more money because you had to press those CDs, you had to get the, you had to, I had right. store, I had like a stores in New York that I was doing myself and I built a rapport with them, but remember you now you competing yeah, with. That. 
yo, salute to you, bro. Thank you. You 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 competing with, you know, big machines because the remember the labels was using the mixtapes too. So it was like, you know, I I was able to get a following, but it wasn't you know it wasn't that, you know that that right. that big enough push to be like, all right, boom, now you there. But nowadays, without pressing CDs and without you know physically moving around, you could spread a little bit of word. Yeah you know, through the, through the social media and all of that. And that's the thing that I think makes sense. I don't take it for granted, though. A lot of cats take that for granted. Like, they think, yo, yes, I got do. this much followers, so I'm I'm winning. That don't really, you know, the, the followers never trans, it does, you know, translate into sales. Because there's people with a million right. followers, but that ain't selling 10% of that. So, so you know, it's, it's just, real. but I still think it's, I, th- I still think it's more than, um, it's, it's it's a little bit better than what it was before. Like if you was independent, like I was just, I'll give you an example. There right. was, when I was young, there's an album, the OC album, Jewels, to me, when I remember, when I think about the album, when I was listening to it, remember that record, the record him and Big L had, and he had a lot of classics yeah, on that. It. it was, it's like, if he kind of got overshadowed, he shouldn't have been, but, if that was the, if today was like back then where social media was there, I think some of those records would have been heard more. So now we got the opportunity to get heard, even if it's not by the, by a million. At least we could get that that following. We could get it to our following, and the following could keep up with us. That's the thing that's good about I, I think this era. Well thought. And what's crazy is it's like you know we grew up on real hip hop, especially like New Yorkers. You know what I mean? And I see that you ain't really, like, deterred from that claw. You know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of people, you know, it's a lot of mumble rap and all that stuff. How do you feel about that? As far as mumble rap opposed to bars? Does it even matter anymore? Um, I, At first, I always, I always, I didn't, I didn't look, at, um, I didn't look at it funny because okay. the way I, the way I see it is just because you, if you got a different style, fine. Right. Like, I, we from the era where we had different styles. Like, we didn't, like, it didn't matter. You doing that over there, we doing it over here. We doing this over there, you doing that over there. Now, the problem with, with, with it is when it becomes so dominant and I guess the, the machines and, and the radio starts to cater to that and they, 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 they shut the other styles out. Yeah, the That's the problem that I have with it. Yeah, so it's not, so I don't, I never, like, I got a lot of home homeboys and, and people that be like, yo, that, yo, that shit's whack. You know, fuck that. Da, 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 da. They ain't really rapping. But I, I, don't, I don't really cool. go there Some with that. That shit is whack. <laughs> it, it is not. It is. But, you know, like, to me, it's just the way I say, I say, I keep my head a level head and I say, you know what? Whatever they doing, fine. I'm just going to do what I'm doing. So when, when yeah. they want to tune into what I'm doing and that's, I'm here. Like, this is my lane right here. I just stay in my lane. I, I don't yeah, ever I try to, you know, because remember, remember when Bone Thugs came around and Crucial Conflict and all that shit, like, they was, you know, people was like, kind of like, yo, I don't, this is not our traditional it's shit, da, 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 da. Yeah, so I was like, you know what, now it's like, but it's, it's 10 times worse now, like, if you don't got that bounce, that trap type of beat, and I could do those beats, like, we could all do that, right. but it's just not me as an artist. That's the thing, like, I, I'm not a, I'm not the producer trying to follow the wave, the new wave. I got my own lane. So I said, you know what? That's I'm going to do what I do best. And this real is what talk. it is. Like, That's real right there, what you say. You know what I mean? Because like I said, nowadays, I think the independence is better. You know what I mean? But are you independent or are you signed? I'm, I'm independent. I mean, I have my own. I'm independent. I have my own my own label. So, Oh, that's what's up. What's the name of your label, every, bro? Catacomb. All right. So elaborate on so every, your label. Like when you sign an artist? I have it's the only it's it's two artists right now. I mean we would we would sign artists if we find, you know, find the right one that, that, that it has a fit. Like we come from that cloth. Like Legion is another artist that signed the catacomb. He's an artist producer too. Right. So, you know, we we all started from day one. That's my partner. So, you know, like That's what's up. Like we um we started when we started day one in hip hop making our own beats from okay. day one. So 
it was like a in in engineering and recording ourselves. We that's what we came from, and it wasn't yeah, it, it wasn't. I'm sorry. I said all in house. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't because we we was like nah. We we ain't rocking with nobody. It was just because we ain't have no choice. Like we had to learn. Like we had to do it. If we didn't do it, we wasn't gonna get no beats. So you know, like we we just kept that 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 hunger and that drive there from from back then. And you know, like now it, it feels like we don't. It feels like we've been born again because now we got the opportunity to really showcase it the way we wanted to. Sh- we, we we wanted to be heard now. We can say, yo, you know what? We putting out a single. We're gonna market a record. We're gonna market a project now. Before this right. wasn't possible. So, you know, thank God we, you know, we, you know, still healthy, able to do it, and you know, the 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 mind is still sharp. We the drive is still there. So, you know, like going forward, I want to sign artists and you know give them the knowledge that I got and and show them what I did because right. they're gonna take it further than you know what where I've taken it. Of course, right. So that's yeah, definitely like a plan that. in the future. Yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? Because you see all aspects of the game. You know what I mean? So definitely, we're going to get into your track right now. It's Little Sully, Life After X. Let's get it. Shut them down radio. Let's get it. Uh, one, 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 two, two. Turn me up. Let Gian turn me up. Let's go. Back at it. Yeah. Uh. Back at it, one, 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 two, one, two. Life after X, X. Life after X, taking my first breath. Man, child, taking this first steps. Put more weight on the bars, knock off the bird chest. Uh, the flow still stupid, I haven't learned yet. Gorilla grip on the spear, Zulu warrior. According to the engineer, I'm a guru, I'm warning you. Uh, Me and my primo starter, let's tape record on Marauders. Uh, beat machine and book around, surf us to ghetto sorcerers. Warlocks, peasants and paupers, ghetto enforcers. Chasing paper like we follow executive orders. Uh, Sully crazy, man, he dating the president's daughter. Woo! Trying to operate the gates on the Mexican. Can border. Government shut down, soon as I touch down. I'm a monster, I ain't gotta wait until the sun down. I just conquer everything above ground, duck down. Niggas used to try some fuck shit, I be like, what's up now? What's up now? Sully Thanos, snapping my finger, they ghost. Bars look meaner than Danny Trejos. About my pesos, uh. y'all should take notes. Outside it's a lot of a-holes. Trying to make me to a scapegoat, cause I got the fuego. Yeah. They just mad, they play with Legos, I'm fucking with yayo. Woo. Mobsters on the payroll, Woo. tell them hostages to lay low. I'm about the bankroll, all the privates and payload. I run the shit because I say so, you effing potato. Life after X, taking my first breath. First breath. Man, child, taking this first steps. First Put steps. more weight on the bars, knock off the bird chest. Bird chest. The flow still stupid, I haven't learned yet. Yeah. Gorilla grip on the hustle with brass knuckles. Bang. Cause ain't no fair fights in the struggle, they trying to bubble. bubble. The city lights got shots by a flash from the muzzle. Fast <laughs> money bought more coffins and more shovels. Every clown that run with the circus know how to juggle. juggle. I look beneath the surface, I see your purpose is trouble. I, I purchase work, my paper go double. Haters are subtle. subtle. I flex with greater muscles, I punch a face in the scuffle. Bang. Cut an ambience, crown me the champion. I'm not in the category of clones and mannequins. We not from the same planet, this galaxy arrogant. I might need another spacecraft for them to land me in. Yo. Life after X, taking my first breath, first breath. Man, child, taking this first steps. First Put more steps. weight on the bars, knock off the bird chest. The flow still stupid, I haven't learned yet. Gorilla grip with no monkey business to witness. No, I couldn't sell my soul for some riches and shallow bitches. No, my main frame is vicious, it came with too many glitches. Too many. My team keep it tall, your team, too many midgets. <laughs> Money, power, respect, if the genie gave me three wishes. Three. But this ain't come easy, I had to go out and get it. Me. I'm hungrier than Tony and Manny washing some dishes. Damn. Shit get uglier when you plotting on six figures. Six. Haters ask how you doing, tell them terrific. terrific. The damn, the celebration is over, sorry. You missed it. Sorry. Dummies do some fuck shit, then ask you to go and fix it. Half. If they ain't talking money, then watch how fast I can skip it. Yep. Life after X, taking my first breath. First breath. Man, child, taking this first steps. First Put more weight on the bars, knock off the bird knock chest. The, bird chest. the flow still stupid, I haven't learned yet. You did. Yeah, well.
Yo, yo. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. Now, you're working on a project right now, the 13th floor. Did you elaborate to the people what it's going to consist of? Well, I put I put the 13th floor out already. It's an EP. I put it out okay. um, yeah, last month in May. And um, the 13th floor, the really, the, the meaning behind the name was, you know, 13th, the, the floor 13 is supposed to be like a, you know, a unlucky floor. So some buildings mm-hmm. don't even have a 13th right. floor. So the, the meaning, the, the, what I meant by naming the project the 13th floor was I had reached a level of understanding the game that was, you know, very, I guess, confusing and I had mixed feelings about. Because I, I okay. started to feel as if, you know, once you, there's a, like a glass ceiling, like it, if you don't have enough, you know, money, you're going to get right. stuck at, cer- at a certain level with this, um, you know, with the game. And it's not nothing to be, you know, you, we ain't complaining about it. It just is what it is. So that's why right. I say, you know, I'm, 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 I'm naming this project 13th Floor because this is what it is. So, you know, I put the music out and to balance out the unluckiness is only seven records on that project. I like that. Thirteen floor, I but like seven that records. Analogy. Yeah, that's that's beef right there. What you just said. I like that right there. Yeah, good looking, bro. Now, so now, you know, it's um, it's um, and it's some of the records on there. Like one of the records on there called Heave Ho. It's it was recorded in Prodigy Studio. Um, yeah, rest in um, peace. Definitely. Joe the engineer um mixed it. So, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of um it's a Everything lot of my you know, studios. Yeah, I know. Yes, that's right. It's fact. So we did, you know, it's it's a lot of a lot of meaning behind the music, a lot of good times and shit. So right. um definitely I, I want everybody to check it out because it's not like life after X is a little different. Right. Definitely, I'm definitely feeling that right there. Now this track right here, Hoodie and my chuckers. Now, what's funny about that, usually, you know, people from New York wear chuckers. So what's the story behind this track? Um, Hoodie and My Chuckers, it just, the first of all, the beat, that beat, I did the beat years ago. I mean, years okay. ago, like in, in the, like maybe the the beginning of the 2000s, but I, I switched the drums up and, you know, gave it more current drums. So right. at, at that time, you know, we was where that's when the, the, the Chuckers, you remember when the, um, when the Chuckers oh, came the out, that was like boom. the, um, yeah, the, with the, with the, but the, the, the no, construction man, color you know Chuckers funny? came out. Yeah, like the, the beef and pot beef. You know what's yeah. funny? I was thinking about California Chuckers, so, yo, my bad on that one, man. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh all, right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, like Chuck Taylor's yeah. little like, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's um, the Timberland Chuckers. So, mm-hmm. and then it's just, what I that's that's something that that attire right there, a hoodie, a hoodie and, and my chuck of boots, that's what right. makes the New York rap sound. So I said, you know what, that's what yeah, I'm gonna name this this record. And um for some reason a lot of people gravitate to that record a lot. Like uh, that's that's always the, 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 the record that everybody will mention, you know, when they hear the project. So it's just that right. that raw hip hop and it's a Wu Tang influenced, you know, sound. Right. So we're going to get into that track. Produced by Legion. Let's get it. Life. At the X. Uh. It's where it begins. Uh. One, two. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Hoodie in my chuckers. The background music was bring the motherfucking ruckus. Yeah. Yo, hoodie in my chuckers. The background music was bring the motherfucking ruckus. Wu Tang baby with Queens bridge up in my clutches. A two lane city be gangster or sucker. Hate it, love it, can't run from it. I know some street entrepreneurs holding grudges. Fuck the judges, we're executioners among us. Brutal summers, kill mongers, feeling hunger down to kill their brothers. Pill swallowers turn to Oscar from Felix Unger. I killed summer with my white and blue Nike Harassis. We knew about Gotti, but we played the Pappy and Tommy. 
Kenny Anderson, Kevin Young, and Boo Harvey. If basketball don't work, we gon' be shooting up some parties. Product of my environment, prophecy bullets flying. If they possibly spying, the rifleman will be firing. Clown shucking and jiving. Big homies is telling. Young gunners is riding. They think it's cool to be felons. Jail letters full of regrets and misspellings. No bail. Blame it on your melanin. Possession, but it's no sales. Music was reflecting my life. I had no deal. A dangerous direction, but rap was my holy grail. Chasing them ponytails when shorty's bodies was real. Before the ass shots and social media sex appeals. Dollar bills to buy my parachute before I ever fail. Investing in myself ain't no effort in sitting still. Hey, yo, regardless of rain or snow, no. sleep hell. hell. I kick tails about ghetto hoes to swamp females. Your corner homicides, remember every detail. Uh-huh. Illegal sales, fiends copping like it's retail. The parsons bully, fresh off the e rail. Mean grill, moving through life, no time to be still. What? Better price, took a once, measure it twice. Uh-huh. Under the street lights, hustling for a new pair of nights. Back with Gramps can get your life, now the Gram gets you life. Yeah. Snapping pictures, shorty right, getting money, her tight. Money, her Bars fire, felonies, I'm trying to wipe. Murdering what you heard me and tell me your nigga ain't nice. Cold uh-huh. world, strictly business, dodging blue and red lights. Uh-huh. Poverty, tougher than dice, we're both in the grind. Reminiscing gold chains, diamond pendants of Christ. I'm paid the deep price, left and filled for bodies to write. <laughs> Yo, Sully. Yo, I'm here. Yo. Yeah, my I'm bad, yo. fam. Look, yeah, you hear me? It was a little technical difficulty. Yo, that track was hard right you. there, Magic. Oh, you know what I mean? To you, bro. Appreciate it. You already know, man. Yo, that sound like New York all the way. Bars was crazy. You know what I mean? So, what you working on presently right now? Right now, the the next project I'm working on is called Exodus. So um okay. with um with generation with life after X is the, is like the second project in the series. The first um right. project was Generation X. So it's Generation X and Life okay. After X and then the third the third project in that series is, is called Exodus. So that's what I'm working on right now. And um you know, like I I I had planned on really dropping it sooner, but Life right. after X is, is just is is taking on life of its own. So I, it's like I, you know, I can't. I gotta wait until you know this shit, you know, goes and reaches the potential because it's still moving. So um, right. You know, like that's gonna be the follow up project. That's what I'm talking about, my G. And but I definitely respect your that. artistry and your grind, my G. Real talk. Thanks. Salute to you, bro. Nobody knows that except for you. That you only. This the only show I ever told that to. So. <laughs> Like they know, you, you know, you heard it first. Exodus is the next, the next project. But, um, That's what I'm talking about, my G. I, I appreciate yeah, you, you already your, know. Um, your movement, man. Like we, we need, we need more. We need, you know, more of these, you know, these, these, these um podcasts and radio right. stations that really care about, care about our art, our hip hop. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, you know, my show is based on. Realness, you know what I mean? Like everybody welcome your artistry, whatever you do, you know what I mean? Because without, you know, a real foundation, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, we got to preserve our culture, you know what I mean? So everybody welcome. Anytime you drop a project, you definitely come on Shut Them Down Radio. You know what I mean? Now, coming from Far Rockaway, yeah, you already know, my G. Now, coming from Far Rockaway, who are your influences from Far Rock or Worldwide? As like far as, you know, coming up in the ranks, like, you know what I mean, that you respected their artistry. Um, when when I was a kid, right. in Ocean Village, um, Tragedy Gaddafi used to stay he, I think his um he had a he had like a grandmother or something that lived in O C O V. So when he was okay. the intelligent hoodlum, when he was doing the intelligent hoodlum thing, he was with Far Rock Ocean Village dudes, like Right. And Queensbridge dudes, but he was he shot some of those videos in Far Rock. He was out there, and I got to see him and and hear him. You know, he was he's really an animal. Like he's a very under he's yeah, a, one of the most underrated rappers ever. And remember, he's from the he's, he was part of the Juice Crew, probably the youngest dude that was down with them. So yeah, um, I remember. When, I remember, man. Yeah, watching watching him. You know, like I'm like yo, damn man. If you're gonna rap, you gotta be good like that. So, you know, yeah, you got to come with your A game. Yeah, because he was like, he, he wasn't like a, 
he would not have ABC bars. Like he he really he really had lines. He knew a good vocabulary. His delivery was tight. So anyway, you know, like watching watching you know stuff like that, and then just my avenue was a was like. It's like a Jamaica Avenue for Jamaica Queens for us. Mount Avenue was where the stores and the sneaker stores is at. So yeah, me and my sister would be Come up there. Avenue? We be yeah. yeah, we'd be up there buying tapes. And we didn't know it was bootlegs. We just buying tapes. So, you know, like just the experience of being out there and, and, and being able to get you know, get hip hop and just to hear it, tapes and all that stuff, you know, it did a lot for me. Just just the whole aura, the you know, outside the train, you know, the A train is out there so you know, that whole, right. when I'm making music now, I still, that's what's in my mind. It's really the setting of um of Far Rockaway. And, you know, for good and bad. You know, but it's just, it gave me a raw that's sense what of hip-hop. And, right, right. So I try not to stay straight away from that because it's natural. And, well, then, you know, and the whole yeah. EPMD, like, those is my, like, EPMD is, is what really made me want to wanna do music. Well talk. Yo, what's crazy is, man, like, I missed the mixtape era, you know what I mean? Because it's like you was anticipating the mixtape to drop. And plus albums, you know, you want to cop that album, you know what I mean? But yeah, I feel yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, the culmination of what you said and what we talked about tonight, I mean, you know, hip-hop is still alive, man. We just can't let people, you know, come in our house and take it over. That's how I feel about the situation, you know? We got to have something we always sharing, you know what I mean? People welcome to come into the, you know, our house. But you know what I mean? You got to leave sometimes, you know what I mean? Real talk. Yeah. That's how I feel about That's the game fact. now, you know what I mean? It's crazy. You know what I mean? Also, I feel like radio hosts need to play their position, you know what I mean? Let the artists yeah. talk and, get, you know, get their shine and talk about their story. All right, we live then. Yo, this Will Sully. We rocking now with Shut Em Down Radio. This is where hip hop lives, and we're going to keep it tall every time. Yo, thanks for calling in. Like I said, your song is in rotation. Anytime you got a project, just hit me, my G. Stay up, fam. Good uh, talking to you. I appreciate you, family. One. You already know. Queen, get the money, man. Let's go out with a track right now. We're going to get into Will Sully. I'm Will Sully. That money cash. Let's get it, man. Peace, man.